Richard here. Have you ever been sitting down for hours, taking a shit, thinking, man, my ass could use some water? Well, hell, now you can. With the new bidet system that you can install in your own toilet at home. So I'm going to go through a quick unboxing of this thing, and then we'll go through installations. So uh, get your plumber crack out, and uh, let's get down to it. Horrible camera angle, I know it, but hell, it's what I have, right? <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is from Amazon here. I saw it on sale for like $18. Um, it was one of those quick deal things or daily deals. I think the deal is still going on, but yeah, 18 bucks. It's a little bidet system for your toilet. It's just an add-on. It hooks into the water supply and then uh, basically uh, sprinkles uh, water in your tush. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and see what's all in it. Uh, I hope there's no freaking tape in this thing. Well, there goes that box. Probably gonna be just like three things, right? So, a box. And then we have our hose, our connection that goes between the toilet and the wash plant. And of course, some rubber uh, seals there. And then the actual unit itself, which is, there it is. Simple, basically, you remove your toilet lid or seat and you plug it into your screws there with adjustable sizing. Then you just set the thing on there, you put in the thing, you tighten everything up. You don't want it too tight because you don't want to crack the plastic or the pore flip. Um, and there we go, the system's installed. Well, other than running the line. And down here we have a little line with a pressure valve or pressure uh, seal or what do you call it when you screw it on and this gets pressurized almost like a, uh, I don't know, can't even think of the word. Oh, crap. Oh, whatever, you know what I mean, right? You get this thing, stick it in, you turn it in, it locks down, right? So, there we go. So this basically just taps in. Go ahead and open this thing up. So, this uh, there's a hose that comes out of your toilet. It goes up into the little spout. There's a little spout on the bottom. And that goes up into your, uh, basically your water float distribution thing. And it sprays out into the toilet. And when the float gets up, it stops, right? So that connection down there, we're gonna basically remove that connection, or remove the hose from there. Put this in between that connection and the pipe and then run this little line here with another one of those pressure fittings for that hose. Run that to this system, get the system mounted on the seat, and we're in business. So, pretty simple. We'll see how that goes. So, yeah, get those uh, plumber cracks ready. We're gonna get down to it. What's up, everyone? We're now in the restroom, so it's a little bit echoey, but bear with me. So, what we're gonna need to do this project, we're gonna basically need a bucket, so that way we have something to throw in the additional wastewater we have. Uh, we're also going to need a few tools here. We're going to need a screwdriver. This is going to be to get the, the screw mounts off the uh, lid and uh, basically some pliers in case we need to hold the bottom of the nut. There's a plastic nut well, my, plastic nut that holds up that screw that holds it in the lid and also in case the uh, water connection line is a bit stuck. And there we go. So here we go. Toilet. It should be clean. I mean, I don't use this bathroom, so it should be clean, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to come down here to the little water thing, and we're going to go ahead and uh, undo that. So we're going to shut the water off first. Hopefully nothing explodes. All right, we're going to go ahead and flush the unit. I'm going to hold this thing down so all the water kind of goes down. Okay. It's not bad, but we're going to go ahead and show you. So... Yeah, there we go. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of water left in here. Now, this water should not drain out, but since we're, we're undoing that nut that's on the bottom of this valve, it's going to drain, I believe. Well, no, we, we might actually be okay, but we still, I mean, there might be some kind of uh, holes down at the bottom that cause water to go down the line. So we're going to go ahead and vacate all this water. Uh, best bet to do is go ahead and get a bucket, and we're going to, well, we can soak it up with, uh, I don't know, a towel or something. But I'm thinking we might not have to do it. This is going to be one of those what not to do. Okay, camera. Work with me. All right, there's our connection. Okay, we tilt the camera more. There we go. Let's get this lid back on. All right. Ooh, so basically where it's at, it's probably going to spill a ton of water. But it might not. Instead, I'm just gonna get a towel. Get this towel here. Put this down underneath. And should I drain the system? Ah, right? Makes for a good TV. 
So I expect there to be a little bit of water. There's a little bit of water coming out. This hopefully should only be the water inside the tube there. Gotta get a bucket in there just in case. I know you all can't see anything now. All right, so yeah, just like I expected, no water. Uh, basically the, the tube is hollow and the water that was in the tube already came out. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my connections here and all that stuff I need to do the water setup. And I am looking at these washers and they actually don't go where I thought they go. They go on seat. So let me get this camera up here. I don't know if y'all can see this little connector here. So I removed the cap that was on the connector and basically this little hose, kind of hard to show, goes through that hole. But let me undo this line here. Come on, there we go. You run this through this line, backwards, there we go. And then you, there's a little nipple on here, you stuff it in there. Oh, we might have to heat this up with water. Unless I can brute force it. There we go. Hopefully I don't break the nipple. Not the first time I've said that. Alright. Get that in there, and then go ahead and close this. This will cause a pressure seal on it. Hopefully I don't break it with my ape strength. All right, there we go, we're done. So now we're gonna have this big old thing spinning around as we try to plug it into our thing down there. Let's get back down here. There's a thing, it's, you know, it's very hard to do camera work with just uh, this much space. And now this, oh my God, I'm being attacked by stuff. All right, so that should fit here. Makes me wonder, maybe I should have put that damn line in last. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remove this line so I can uh, work in there because I gotta rotate it and it's gonna hit that wall. Oh wait, but then the, how are we gonna get the nipple in there? Yeah, that's gonna be a pain in the backside. Okay. Now we're just gonna have to deal with it. So let's hope this is all the right size. Hmm, feels like it's not. <laughs> Alright, let me see. I'm upside down, so... Yeah, I would still do righty-tighty. Then why was I going the opposite direction? I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's pretty tight. You don't want to over tighten it because you don't want to break. So let's go down here, hook up this water supply. Same thing, rotate it to the right. You want to get these tight, I mean fairly tight so you don't spill any water because that's all you need is a leaky toilet, man. There we go. So that's hooked up. All right. Guess we need the damn bucket. All right, let's get to this uh, toilet seat. Let me set up the camera so that way it's not all jacked up. I'll come back in a second. All right, those, there's no easy way to freaking hold this camera. So I'm just gonna go here and just hold the camera by hand as I remove these things. So here we go, we pop these off. You can see where I need that screwdriver now. Of course I didn't grab it, so let me grab that tools right now. Okay, underneath there's gonna be a plastic washer that holds this in. Hopefully we're just gonna soften them up enough that was already loose. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down so I undo this lid. And there we go, we got the toilet seat off now. So as you can see, these are the plastic uh, bolt and nut that were holding it down. It's pretty dang, pretty darn long, so should be easily to should be an easy fit. So now we need to adjust it to make their thing fit in there. So uh, let me get the toilet seat ready and well let me get the bidet ready and uh, put it on there. All right, we got it on here. This was a pain, okay. So remember when you put the hose in, make sure you face it the other way so that way you don't have this coil of wire. I gotta adjust that. This thing doesn't really sit too nicely here. It seems like it's built backwards, I think. And also whenever you're tightening these things, 
Don't be crazy and try to tighten down here. Just hold it down there and do this part with the screwdriver. It's a lot easier to tighten, tighten them. All right, so I got everything hooked up. Thing I'm noticing is here is a little nozzle that's supposed to spray the water, right? But I don't see any spray thingies anywhere. <laughs> so I don't feel any kind of holes or anything like that here. It doesn't rotate, doesn't turn, doesn't do... I think something pops down and then sprays water. I think that's so that way you don't accidentally, I don't know, dirty it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water back on. Ah. <laughs> okay, I don't see any leaks. That water fully on. All right, there we go. Okay. So, hitting this little thing should cause it to work, right? Uh, how do we do this? Okay, that pressurized, okay, whoa! See that thing, it's like an alien mouth. Blah, holy crap, that nailed the picture over here. Jesus! So what's this supposed to do, adjust the nozzle? <laughs> wow that's gonna have a lot of pressure so that'll surprise you as far as the aiming part goes I don't know until we actually try this thing out so we'll see how that goes I haven't tried it out yet this, I just turned the video camera back on because I forgot to mention one thing I didn't really like okay so you see the way it's designed here this lip here kind of sits at an angle so if you have some really heavy people it is easy for them to break this seat I think so uh, that's kind of horrible I wish they would have had a cutout kind of like they had a cutout over here but in the diagrams that's how it is so I don't know what's up with that we'll see hopefully this toilet seat doesn't get destroyed if it does oh well gotta get another toilet seat all right so real quick a summary of all that installation it looks like everything was easy to install. Probably didn't need any tools, maybe just a screwdriver, but still it's good to have a pair of pliers. Now, I did notice there was a slight leak in the line and basically the connection from the wall that goes into the little plug, the little, you know, provided thing, there was no rubber wash or anything in there. And I was like, wow, that's weird. They should have really put a washer in there. They really should have included a rubber washer. And here it is. Well, crap. I, I must have left it on the table, but since it was almost transparent, it was on this white sheet, I didn't even see it. So I got to go back and separate that and replug this thing in. And that's going to be a pain. Plus, I learned the center part swivels. And as far as the aim on thing, I took a, I just sat on it and went ahead and turned the water on. And uh, man, that's, that's a pretty good shot it got. I mean, it's right on. It's like bullseye. It's going to get, it's, it's weird. <laughs> I'll tell you that. It's just weird. Okay. All right. Ladies. All right. I'm back again. So I just finished installing the second uh, bidet in my master bathroom and I ran into one little issue. It seems that the bolts holding on the toilet seat on this one were a little bit thicker and would not fit into the little uh, uh, sl slots that were provided. But never fear, all you have to do is basically slide it over, put the bolt in there and then slide the thing in there so you make like a little sandwich with the edge of the, uh, the rim there and that little sliding plastic part and then you just clamp that stuff down. You can also put a bigger washer on there to catch the whole thing down or maybe something that goes all the way across. But either way, it's on there, it's installed, it's doing good, it's not leaking. Uh, and uh, I haven't tried this one out, but I put my hand there and yeah, there's, there's some freaking water pressure there. So, whoo, right? <laughs> okay, uh, y'all take it easy.